plate. And I'm turning here. And um, this person is so most definitely present tonight. Um, this is producer of Liberty Award. The producer of Liberty Award is, a, is for a dedicated, behind-the-scenes libertarian whose quiet labors over the years exemplifies the backbone of the LP. Um, there's one person that came to my mind who had not yet received a, um, a, a Defender of Liberty Award at all, who I thought was especially well suited for the Producer of Liberty Award, um, often remaining in the shadows while other people that essentially he was doing all the work for stood right in the limelight, myself being among those, getting all the attention while someone else was doing most of the work. Um, and so, um, Gregory Stemple has been a dedicated behind-the-scenes libertarian since 1998 when he organized College Libertarian Organization at Michigan State University. Since then, he has worked tireless, tirelessly for the cause of liberty. When he started attending Wayne State University, he reactivated the student organization. In 2002, he worked to restore ballot access while confined to a wheelchair afflicted with a life-threatening illness. As campaign manager for my campaign in several elections, and not just by way, um, you know, recently I was doing but frequently when I was running for State Board of Ed. Um, and then also when Gregory Creswell ran for governor in 2006, he had been the man behind the candidates. Um, in fact, speaking specifically, I remember one year, I basically, it was, I had personal problems, I was, a, I was running for State Board of Ed, and essentially, Greg did everything for that campaign that year, and it was, it was just amazing, you know, it just, he just kept going. Um, when I didn't have the energy, he did. He organized an effort also to get us a full congressional slate um, for um, one year, and I don't remember which year it was. Remember when you were, had it especially, you were especially working on getting everyone, every congressional district covered? It's been so, several elections that all blend together after one. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, there you go. So I would guess that first year is when I, when I got it my attention. Matter, right? um, he's also promoted multiple issues of, um, I'm sorry, produced multiple issues of the Michigan Libertarian and has, has served as its editor in 2002, 2003, and 2008. Mr. Stemfel located, cataloged, and scanned many of the back issues of the Michigan Libertarian making some of the oldest issues available online. Now, if you go to the mi.lp webpage and you go to um, membership resources, you can look way back. I mean, you can see these things where people like had typed stuff and cut out pictures yeah. and glued them on. And <laughs> really, and really ancient um, Michigan libertarians. Um, keep in mind, this party was founded in 1971 um, nationally, but 72 in Michigan. And all the modern re things we can do now to make a newsletter thing exist. So, yeah. You can look those up thanks to Greg scanning those in and, um, and now we have those on the website. Um, last year, Greg and Aaron Stahl organized the LPM campaign conference, which was immensely successful. And when Bob Barr made his surprise appearance, Greg found a venue for him on short notice. Um, Mr. Stemfel is currently chair of the Wayne County affiliate right here. And um, did most of the work organizing this event as well. So, um, comments, Greg? Thank you very much, Scotty. Um, I, this means a lot to me. Um, so Scotty told you everything I've done. Let me tell you real quickly how I became a libertarian. In my sophomore year at Michigan State, I knew I wasn't a Democrat or Republican, and I was following the election like every good citizen should. So I was going to basically every student organization that interested me, and I started hanging out with uh, people from the uh, agnostic and atheist and humanist student group at Michigan State. And the Socialist Equality Party candidate, Jerry White, came to our group and wanted to know if we could sponsor a table. I thought, all right, free speech. I didn't know much about socialism, but we had, a, we had the socialists on campus. That same week, I met Harry Brown at the Libertarians. So Jerry White and Harry Brown, am I a socialist or a libertarian? So I did a lot of research, I did a lot of soul searching, and um, I flipped a coin, and <laughs> <laughs> what's interesting is uh, Jerry White came to visit me and a friend in our dorm room. Not that many students went, so we could easily go see everyone. Um, 
And then uh, two years ago, I was running for Congress, and Jerry White ran against me for Congress as a socialist candidate, and I beat him. So uh, it turned out not to be a very good use of his time. Uh, you know, it, was still, it was still inspiring to me. So um, I basically owe all of this to that uh, year I was soul searching at Michigan State, and then I uh, had to transfer to Wayne State because my grades weren't very good. <laughs> So, first thing. Second of all, though, I have something, and in the past they've actually, um, we've had these go out to everybody in the party who ran for office, but the thing is that often it was hard to find the people, you know, before the next convention came along or something to give, give to them. So what I did is I just printed these up to people who ran for office who are present tonight, and there's a space here for the chair of the party to sign, so sorry I'm popping that on you, but <laughs> Bill might get a little bit of writer's cramp here, because there's... It turns out we have a surprisingly large number of candidates um, present. Um, but now, I'm going to skip the okay, here. So one of them here, we have Will White, ran for um, representative in Congress, District 8. And Will? Oh, second. <laughs> and we have... We have Gregory Scott Stemple. Welcome. And we've got Carrie Morgan, ran for the um, University of Michigan Board of Regents. Rachel <laughs> Allen, ran for the Commerce Township Trustee. And he signed his own when he ran for State Board of Education. <laughs> Differently than the other ones, because I put one word in there that wasn't on the other ones, and the word is successful. Thank you for your year of dedication and, and devotion, and for your efforts in promoting the Libertarian Party and our ideals as a successful candidate for the Ypsilanti County Parks Commission. That is Tom Bagwell. And Gregory Creswell. Ran for Congress in the 13th District. Oh, welcome. Leonard Schwartz ran for Congress in the 5th District. Okay, so, just thought I'd put those out there. People are present. Oh, stuff the air things in his pocket here. Um, well, first, by the way, also, we have people in office in addition to Tom. Tom, stand up. Okay. He was one of two people who won in the general election. Libertarian. Also, we have other people who um, are in or have been in office. They could all stand up. Yeah. <laughs> 